Hey, welcome back to another TRS 2K16 Forever video. Today will be a wash day slash curly hair routine. Now, I know you guys are wondering, what am I going to use? Going right in with our Jason Smoothing Coconut Oil. This is a phenomenal coconut oil. I'm gonna take the, oh Lord, have mercy. Gonna go take this uh, coconut oil soon and put it in my hair. But first I'm just finger detangling or whatever, just playing around with it. This is just not working out today. Yes, I got some hang time. This is going on one year and 10 months post chop. I'm gonna take my wide tooth comb, part the back. So I'm gonna part like, majority of like <laughs> my hair today and just uh you know make it so y'all can see so oh that part is a hot mess but it's ooh, ooh, ooh girl struggling with the ponytail lord have mercy so i just put a clip in ooh, okay so making sure that you guys can see i am gonna take my comb work the ends first and you know just keep combing it my hair really isn't dirty i just washed it like maybe last week i just didn't do a video to it so i'm gonna do a video this time um like i said before this is a wash day routine slash curly hair routine and as you can see i'm just gonna keep the tangling 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 so on and so forth so as you can see i'm just checking for breakage which i have little to none only because i've been doing a lot of different treatments i've been trimming my ends so on and so forth i'm just gonna take a little dime size um coconut oil and i'm going to warm it up in my hands to make it melt then rub it all over my hair preferably the ends because the ends are my driest spot and as you can see my curls are, are already reverting back to its natural state and i love this coconut oil so much it's good for your hair skin and so much more now I'm going in with my Simply Balance Refined Avocado Oil that I bought from Target. Um, this is a good kind of oil, but it also has like a strong smell to it. That's why I only really use it like for as a pre-poo. But sometimes I use it like just to grease my hair as well every now and then. Um, I'm just going to use it like a little bit. And I'm going to put that mostly like around my roots area and the shaft of the hair. And um, work it into the hair as well because this oil really does have some good saturated fats in there and it makes my hair feel really good as you can see like look at the difference within the curl pattern that I have now like this is awesome so I'm just gonna follow these two steps this is just my pre poo step and I will come back with the next step Alright, so I'm just about finished with the front part. I'm just going to keep running my fingers through. Kind of love how it feels. Massage it in my hair. And I am going to just, you know, continue to play around with it. It looks so cute. My curls is like popping right now. So I got my hang time. So I'm just going to continue to just, you know, massage all the oils in. Comb through it one more time. Just so I can make sure that everything is saturated. So on and so forth. Then I'm going to eventually put a plastic cap over it. And once I put the plastic cap on, I'm going to leave it on for 10 minutes. All right. Now that this has been on for 10 minutes, I am just going to take out the plastic cap and then I'm going to go in with my shampoo and you guys will see that in the next slide. Now I am going to go in with my Coconut Milk Nourishing Shampoo by OGX. And this is a really good shampoo for my hair because it has white egg protein in it. Mm -hmm. All right. Now you guys can see that I have the oil in my hair and I'm about to wash my hair out with the shampoo. Just going to rinse out really quickly the oil, get it all out. 
Now I am going to, you know, blot it just a little bit, not too much. I don't want the water dripping everywhere. So now I'm going to go in with my shampoo. You can see the, the hair dripping or whatever. And, you know, just get the shampoo. Put it all over my hair. Wash, wash, wash. And I'm just going to, you know, speed it up a little bit just to keep washing. Just keep washing. Just keep washing. You know, I'm just going to massage the roots and stuff. Focus on the roots. That's what I usually do. And it feels so good just washing my hair out. Um, and I, I use cold water to wash and rinse my hair. Um, conditioner and all of that. Just because of the way it makes my hair feel afterwards. I don't like using hot water. Um to rinse out my hair and wash my hair and stuff but as you can see I'm getting ready to whoop, mm -hmm, to rinse out my hair with the shampoo and I can tell that it was really dirty from all the grease that was in it um yeah so now I'm getting ready to rinse the shampoo out and then we're gonna go to the next step um which will be putting in our hair mayonnaise that I usually buy from the beauty supply store and check out those curls. They all clump together. All right, now we are back in the bathroom. Going to just blot my hair. Um, you know, just mess with it a little bit. And I'm definitely loving my curls. Oh yeah. All right, going in with my Originals Africans Best Hair Mayonnaise. Now, for those who don't know, this is a protein treatment. And I love this protein treatment. So now that my hair is washed, like it said to do first, you're supposed to wash your hair first. Then you take the sun and you put it in your hair. Um, with me right now, I'm just gonna do the roots and um, get it everywhere. But I like to, you know, maintain that good protein. So just work it on in and I will come back with the next step after I have finished applying it all over my hair well now that I am just about finishing up I am going to leave it on for 10 minutes so since I have rinsed it all out and I have let it air dry I am now going to show you my curl patterns which are like so much better it's nice and thick just the way I like it um okay now I'm gonna go with my main choice, growth oil. Well, now I'm gonna go with my Yucca and Plantain Anti-Breaking Root Lifting Styler by Shea Moisture. Since I have officially put in my main choice oil, just gonna spray that around. Um, ooh, got in my face. Go ahead and just moisturize that. Rub it all around. Rub it all around. Okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Right, going in with my Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Um, I really love this smoothie like uh, as you can see it smells so good and it just feels really really nice in my hair and it brings out my curls so I'm just gonna take some put it in my hair and just you know work it all in my hair work it on in work it on in work it on in yep so I am just working it in as you can see my curls are starting to just become popping and I'm just gonna continue to just work on it all right now finally going in with my Cantu shea butter leave-in conditioning repair cream i got that from walmart i think for like five six bucks and i'm just going to take a good hand size i'm just going to put it all in my hair just to give my hair that moisture and just moisturize it and moisturize it and moisturize it As you can see now, I'm going in with my Dr. Miracles Temple and Nape Grow Balm. This is for the edges and the back of your head because you don't want to be bald or whatever. 
And with me, since I used to get tight braids, I'm trying to regrow my edges now. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. All right, now give it a swoop. Yes. Do the other side. Mm hmm And I use this at least three times a week. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Depending on how I'm really feeling. All right, y'all. This is pretty much just the finishing touches to give me a little part. Get this curled together. And yes, I'm loving it. I love it. I love it. Go ahead and keep, make sure them edges is laid. This is the finished product on how I got my curly hair routine and my wash day routine. Okay, Snapchat filter. Come